I'm just gonna get straight into it because I want to. No, I haven't warmed up. Um, input display. I don't know why OBS just shits the bed and it just constantly doesn't display this. It's really annoying. Yes, Equinox. That's exactly what I wanted to practice. How did you know? Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, I just wanted to say sorry. Oh, uh, this is my friend's rap song, by the way. Take a listen to it. Dude, I already have the 336. I don't need to do anything else on Equinox. Maybe get it on Double O Agent. Maybe. What? What would that prove? Yay! A one-frame. Wow, this really doesn't want to work today. A one-frame trick that is like stupid. Okay. Why is this not working today? Okay, I'm practicing this. Straight up, bro. Beat you to it. So, I have about an hour to do runs, or an hour and a half-ish, and then I gotta head off to work. Tosca, I got a story for you, hey. Do you want to hear the story? <laughs> Fuck, I should explain this. This, this was on uh, the series True Stories from Australian Towns. Um, so, <laughs> basically, um, these kids, they had just, one of them decided to take his little brother to the zoo, and he brought a bunch of mates. His little brother is apparently a bit slow, like, I don't know, might have some mental disabilities or something, whatever. Um, so, they take him to the zoo, and then, um, <laughs> and then they're about halfway of the drive home. He, no, sorry, before they leave, the big brother goes, Oi, just wait here, we're just going out for a smoke real quick. They go up for a cigarette, and then, um... And then they start heading home, and then he notices something ruffling around in the uh, in the little kid's jacket, right? Um. And then the big brother's like, "Wait, what's in your jacket?" He's like, 
my friend. <laughs> and then he's like, what? Open it up. He doesn't want to open it up, but he's like, open it up or I'll give you a fudgy bite when you get home. Like, it's going to beat him up, whatever. He opens his jacket. He stole a fucking fairy penguin from the zoo. And then they're like, dude, we've got to take it back. But the zoo's closed, so they can't take it back. So then one of them's like, oi, I got a basement, eh? So they fill up a bathtub with water, put the penguin in there, feed it sardines, smoke weed the whole night, and play PlayStation. <laughs> and then the next day they take it back at like 2 p.m. And then um, <laughs> they got McDonald's on the way and fed the penguin Maccas. <laughs> And then the zookeeper said, it's okay. Look, this is not the first time this has happened. At least you brought it back. We've decrypted the night crime files you secured last night, 007. They contain rather troubling data concerning a shutdown nuclear power plant not far from Tokyo. Phoenix Corporation has been contracted to cleanse the plant of radioactive material. We just listen to that one. Ugh. Oh, I got plenty more, but uh, that's one of my favorite ones. What? How did that not work? I don't know how that didn't work. Okay, this morning. Maybe I should actually be healthy and get a Subway sub. And before you people ask, no, Subway's not that healthy. Well, the sub I get is only 600 calories and keeps me full the whole day. And it isn't loaded with sugar. Okay, I don't know how that worked. It's actually not that bad. Um... Like, $11 for a foot long is pretty good, believe it or not. If you start getting into, like, subs that cost, like, $16, it's just not worth it. it it's just convenient. That's the thing. It's just convenient. You know, because I can just order it ahead, pick it up on the way to work, done. It'll, they're also open early, so I can, you know... Actually, I might look up when they open. Is Peter Pan is this magical boy? Shut the fuck up, Jordan Peterson. Open 7 a.m. Ugh! Um... Yeah, looks like I'm, uh, looks like I'm not fucking getting that. I don't know. I think of something to get. To tell you the truth, I might even just, I don't know, just a, a bacon egg McMuffin from Macca's or something. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty good.
Yeah, I don't know how Subway is in other countries. I've only had Subway in one other country, America. And uh, I don't actually know which one I prefer, whether it be Australia. At least you have more choices of cheese in America, but I know I think you have more choice of meat here. What bread did I get? I usually just get wheat bread. I don't remember what I got in America. What breads do they even have in America? Do they have Italian herb and cheese? Because that's probably what I got. And also, the only reason I got it was just because it was the only thing around. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I got there. The, um... The cheese choices, what are they in America? They're like cheddar, provolone, and mozzarella or some shit. Here it's cheddar, mozzarella, and old English cheese. And if you don't get old English cheese, like, what are you doing? Yeah, but the Italian herb cheese bread is loaded with sugar. So is so is the white bread. I don't know how their flat bread is. And I don't know how their rye is. The thing that makes it like I guess healthy for me though, is because um I just pile the veggies on, and I get turkey. So, the calories stay down. Yeah, you've got fuckloads more choices of cheese. I haven't hit this clip in a while. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that bond Dude. Should lead up to the I don't think we ever had $5 foot long. That shit looked bussin'. Kinda wanna listen. Wait. Wait, it oh wait, plus three drinks, got it. Oh, when I go back to America, you know what I do need to try? <laughs> I need to try Popeyes. Because one, I've never had it, but two, um, then I can send you a picture and say, hey, I got some dog food. <laughs> Do you remember it being any good? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually up early.
Ah, oh, whatever. Dude, I don't know why this clip has been giving me so much shit lately. And no, I will not learn the other, learn or do the other clip. Well, guess what? I'm not. I haven't even started runs yet. So. And before you ask. Yes, I can do the other clip. I just don't fucking like it. Because uh, often than not, and I find this like 70% of the time, this guy gets in the way, and it's really fucking annoying. It's either I do that one, or I do this one. Because to be honest, I think going for this one isn't too bad. Yeah, I'm just practicing. I think going for this one isn't too, too, uh, bad. But, yeah, but you've got to react really quick because, I don't know. He, uh, you've got to react, like, super quick here. Because you're not going to get a definitive answer until you're about, like, here. And then you can start preparing to go like that. And then if you mess it up, just, ugh, I don't, I don't know. I just don't like it. In theory, yes, it's better, but no. I just won't do it. The only other thing is if I go for this clip in here, I've got to wait for the door to open. Maybe that's the strat, is I should just rub up against the, do up against the wall and then start going for it. I don't know. I don't know why it just doesn't work sometimes, Tosk. It hasn't been working for me lately, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna blame the fact I'm playing on a monitor. That's why. That's why it doesn't work. I think I found the strategy here. Is I gotta remember, don't start going for the clip until I'm past this here because now it's just starting to work all of a sudden like I can't start going for it here oh maybe I can but I got really lucky there like I'll take the extra time loss or the tiny bit of time loss Ah, oh. oh, shit. That's effectively what I do, yeah. I mean, again, like, I could always just go straight for this one. But the other thing to consider if I go to this one, too, is then I'm going to be sat here for longer. And I could take more damage, meaning I'll have to get the armor later. So, yeah. I don't think I'm mashing hard enough there either, hey? I don't know why this is just inconsistent today. It's 
See, that just popped me back through as well. It's just been Countdown giving me the shits lately, man. And it's really fucked. Like, why is this not working? Why? Wait, I think I need to be looking more straight on. No, that's not even it either. Dude. My favorite level? Um, that depends. Am I speed running or not? And if I am, what category am I running? Wait, that might be it. Gotta wait a little before you start mashing crouch. I think this is similar to for the, the first chain reaction clip. No, that's not even it either. It really is just an angle thing. Like, why? I fucking hate Double Cross. I hate it on every fucking category, actually. Just not fun dealing with Mayhew's bullshit. Or the hostages, or any of that crap. Why? I don't get this. Um, in general, if I had to pick my favorite level in this game, not on a speedrun, it's fucking exchange, easily. That level is so great. The amount of ways you can take, um, just the pure attention to detail, the atmosphere, the music, it's great. Countdown's pretty cool casually as well. Uh, any percent, um, what is my favorite level on any percent? It's probably, it's probably Chain Reaction, to be honest. Chain Reaction or, I don't know. There's so many that are, are just, like, interesting. I used to love Night Shift. Oh, Night Shift's the other level I love casually. I actually think it might have to do with the uh, the clip timing I'm doing, too. Because if I get a crap clip here... Like... Yeah, it's just not going to work. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's... The missing link here is I'm. I just got to make sure that I get a proper clip. Night shift as a kid was interesting because like we couldn't figure out. Like we kept running out of ammo in the in the in the dark gun, and we're like, "Fuck! How do you do this level?" And then we found out that you can punch them, and to this day I've punched the guards because it's so satisfying. That's the missing link. That's it. That's what I'm doing wrong. Is you gotta make sure you get a really good clip. See, that was crap. That was crap. That was good. Okay, just add fucking a brick wall again. That's cool. You know, really, I should probably just... I should probably just YOLO it. I don't see why not, because... If it's just going to only work whenever it feels like it, then fuck it. You know it's something else, Tosk? Night Shift or Nightfire GBA. If you get seen even once, you just fail.
And while you're playing an FPS on Game Boy, yeah. Uh, and in all tokens, honestly... What do I like on all tokens? Phoenix Foe is pretty fun. Uh, it's got to be Countdown, honestly, on all tokens. Because when you're in the pit and you're on world record pace... If you're, like, actually optimal, as soon as the shuttle launches, you can hear Drake say, Operation Nightfire has begun. And when you're on record pace, that gives you chills. It does. Before I start this run... I am just going to do this, by the way, but before I start this run, I'm going to go check if it's still raining outside. Good evening, 007. A redesigned piece of missile guidance hardware intended for the orbiting U.S. space weapons platform has been stolen. NATO has advised that recovery is critical. Should an unfriendly power reverse engineer this device, the platform's global defense capabilities would be severely compromised. Recent intelligence implicates Raphael Drake in the theft. Hard to believe as Drake is a respected green industrialist whose Phoenix International dismantled Rob's League of Comet Reactors and decommissioned the nuclear arsenal. An allied agent planted in Drake's organization reports that Alexander Mayhew, a British expatriate who heads Phoenix's Japanese branch, is en route to Drake's castle in Austria. The stolen guidance device will change hands tonight during a formal gathering at the castle. I will. Also, it's kind of raining, but not too much. Is that better? Is that game volume better? Get into the run then. What record run today? Could be louder. I can turn it up more. There we go. Anyway. I'm used to turning this way to look at the CRT. Damn it. God, I want to go back to my CRT already. Yo, buckle man. I need to order new component cables. Nothing, the CRT still works. My component cables just died. 007, the guests won't take kindly to firearms. Keep them hidden to maintain a low profile. The other problem too is, um, the way I was, uh, displaying on my CRT, my old capture card did a downscaling thing, and, uh, there is no fucking way I'm using my old capture card again. No, sir. No way. Oh, my phone's 
playing an alarm. Because the AV slash TV button on my CRT is busted. So uh, I don't like pushing any of the buttons on the front of the CRT because uh, it's very difficult to change it. I don't even send sound to my CRT. I just monitor them. I just monitor the game audio through my interface. Oh, this might not work. Okay. Probably elevator skip in Phoenix Fire. Saves the most time, feels satisfying when you hit it. Or. Or deep descent skip. Oh, this is gonna be a gold. I did not tosk, but I'll need to look at that. Did you find a way to hit all three at, at there? Because then that could mean I could get a potentially a 308 exchange, which is insane. That's almost like tying the tax. Actually, no, not, well, not that insane, but like, yeah. It'd be like beating Matt Timber's split, but Matt Timber splits on fade out. So, yeah. Oh. If I could get a 308. <laughs> His body, that was weird. If I could get a 308 exchange, that would be the same as tying Matt Timber's. Um, Matt Timber's split, but Matt Timber splits on fade out. Nice, that's pretty good if you don't do elevator skip. Hang on. Maybe I should go for 401 on, uh, on Alpine at some point. That could be a funny stream. Oh, I see. Up ahead, James. Well, Phoenix Fire is a hard level. A lot of the clips are pretty brutal. Easily tossed. Easily. Elevator skip saves about a minute. On the left. Oh, you mean sub one on the level. Sorry, I thought you meant sub one hour. Um, I don't actually know. Probably not, to be honest. In fact, I definitely don't. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if you could get that, you're probably cheating. Agent, you mean operative, right? Well, if you're doing the skips, it's difficult, because the elevator skip is frame perfect, and uh, the briefcase clip is pretty difficult, and the first clip as well is just really finicky and only works whenever it feels like it, it seems.
Yeah, nice. Yeah, it definitely is Tosk. I just don't like your new method. No offense. <laughs> Sorry, that came off so rude. I just don't like that clip. I really don't. Okay, we're cooking. If you want to level the speed run, do this one. It's probably the easiest. Phoenix Fire is not hard on double O agent. If you do it casually, it's hard on double O agent. But with the skips, it's pretty much just the same run. Nice of you to join us, double O seven. You must eliminate those helicopters if we are to make a safe extraction. Oh, that was so close to a gold. I tied my gold. Oh, don't say that, Tosk. Now I'm nervous. To the bunker now. That was actually not the fastest Mayhew. That was actually not very good. I could have looked at him more. I thought I shot the hostage there for a second. The game actually lagged a lot there, I don't know why. Like, on the fade out it lagged, I don't know why. 007, I've added an item to your inventory. A powerful yet stealthy flashbang grenade disguised as an electric shaver. and detonated remotely when ready. Not a sub-11 double cross, but pretty damn close. Yeah, they do that. Bond, M here. Avoid civilian casualties at all cost. Q-Branch has supplied you with tranquilizer darts. Raise the alarm! Please use them. Where'd you come from? 007, they deactivate the 
Bond. Don't forget that your glasses can detect hidden laser tripwires. Bond, there are security cameras on this floor too. If you see one, be careful not to cross its range-finding beam. Should have just gone for the grapple. Or maybe not. Yeah, it is operative. It's any percent so I can play on any difficulty. Why would I not just play on the easiest? The terminal should be on the highest floor. See if you can use the exterior elevator to gain access. That stairwell bond. It should lead up to the rooftop. There's very little differences between agent and double agent, I'm just gonna say. Bond. May use computer is in this room. Upload the Q-worm into it. Oh, the differences that there is don't really matter, I find, personally. Be careful, old boy. What's happened up there, Jane? The street out front is swarming with security agents! <laughs> yeah, if you get caught on the vent, it can push you down. It's a bit dumb. Only one way off this rooftop now, Bond. Jump! Oh, so I shouldn't stand up there, because... You kind of get a bit of an ex extended height. I don't know. Pray for a good chain reaction and Phoenix fire. It does that. 007, your camera should help you here. Any snipers are Why it does it, I don't know. Game's just dumb. What? I see you. Okay, I don't know why none of them works, but okay. Yeah, don't need the running. Pretty garbage chain reaction. Look at how much time we're gonna lose. Pray for a good Phoenix fire. Security alert. The elevators have been temporarily disabled for your protection. Have a nice day. Really, bro? Really? Really? This door? Really? 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 Dude, really? I spend all fucking my warm-up session practicing that shit. Why did I take fall damage? I'm mashing the fucking A button! Fuck! Sorry, that pisses me right off. Oh, yeah, just, just don't place. Yeah, yeah. Fuck! 
so fucking stupid. What the fuck is my input display doing? You good? EA games. Dude, it's just so shitty. I spent all this fucking time practicing that stupid door clip and then it just doesn't work. When I'm on the best run of my life. That run was destroying the 3615 I was on pace for. Nah, my controller's fine. Oh, I did. Oops. All to the fucking stupid clip on Phoenix Fire. And you know what pisses me off more is like, that run still could have PB'd, but no. The briefcase just wouldn't place down. Dude, there has to be a consistent way to get that door. There has to be. It's just one of those stupidly fucking pedantic clips that's like, no, no. You have to go in this exact direction and then sink in and then I'll let you clip. It's not one of those clips where you can just, you know, do the clipping motion into the door. No. Should have just gone for the fucking other door. Security alert. The elevators have been temporarily disabled for your protection. Have a like, nice see, day. you can't just look at a place and then do the clip. No, you can't. It's just, it's just so fucking anal about the way you clip here. Oh. It's so quiet. Like, there's just no way to hit this clip consistently. Or is there? So I pinched my finger when I slammed my controller there. We have a go. <laughs> it was the best run of my life too, man. I just can't get this. Like, it, I just can't clutch you out a run anymore. Temporarily disabled for your protection. Have a nice day. That might be it. I need backup. Look between the door handle and the center of the door. Hi, Bazaar. But no, of course, that doesn't even work either. It kinda works. <sighs> God, I'm just so fucking shooken up from that shit too, man. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Just takes so much out of you when you lose runs like that, hey. Oh. And now I'm not going to be able to play well because, like, I'm still shaking.
Ich hab was gehört. Ich da an. We're gonna do this again, really? There is one thing that's good about when I get mad, I guess. It's when people drop stupid comments. Dude, how many fucking bullets am I gonna catch? This is operative, for fuck's sake. Like, I'll just have people type stupid comments or be really toxic so I can just ban them, you know? I don't think I've had Hawaiian rolls before. I think KFC here has them, but I don't know. If they're the same ones you're talking about, yeah, they are quite nice. Nah, I'm not I'm not calling anyone out in this chat right now, I'll say that. I'm just saying like, you know, when runs like that have happened, just it just sort of bring stupid people out and it's really annoying when like i'm on a world record pace run and then you know it dies to something stupid and people are just like haha well i guess you just gotta reset and try again yeah i can just pretend everything's okay you know It's not even like this is what I do for a living, you know what I mean? It's just so frustrating. Bond, head for the stairs. Drake's about to address his guests in the grand ballroom. Honestly, the hardest thing in speedrunning is just mental strength, you know? Especially when you've played this game for as long as I have. And, you know, I've had world records taken constantly. Just the mental strength needed to get that shit back. I think the hardest grind I've had in this game was trying to get the, the no clipping world record back. Oh, man. That was just not fun. That was a really fucked time in my life too. Because like, you know, I lose that record, lose my girlfriend. Um, it just sucked. It just really sucked. Come on. Get out of here. Yeah, well, I've got ADHD pretty bad too. So <laughs> trust me, I know the feeling. Not a bad exchange. The other one I got was way better though. Oh, I only lost what 0.4 in comparison to the other one. I guess it's actually not that bad after all. You don't know the worst mentality I had for speedrunning ages ago when I used to do uh like Jedi Academy and Half-Life runs. Um, it was when uh, an old friend of mine said, like, why even bother continuing the run if you don't green your first split? Such a bad mentality, hey. Because you could literally be 
plus 0.01. If you're not finishing runs in speedrunning, you know, you're just, you're not going to learn how to play the end game well. And I'm not calling him out in particular, by the way. Maybe that is just what works best for him, but definitely not for me. That's pretty much what it all comes down to then, you know? Yeah, pretty much, Tosk. Oh, I don't know. I'm a little different, though. But yeah, usually I do follow that. It just really depends on how the exchange is. Because the main thing about me is most of my time save is in... Uh, I have time save in exchange throughout the whole run, so I may as well. And also, a good amount of my time save is in countdown and double cross. Those two levels. If I can get time save on exchange, that's really good. Because that's just leniency for later in the run. Behind us, James. I'm just going to go for that lineup in Phoenix Fire that I had, if I get there. Strafing into that door is just out of the question. It just doesn't work. And when it does work, it's just like... Okay, maybe I'll be nice today. Yeah. Sorry, we forgot to make a reservation. Also, I think another factor is I'm starting to get a bit hungry. So, yeah. And I gotta sort out some crap this morning. James, in front of us. <laughs> Go left. Do that every run, toss. Losing time on Alpine, no mega lol. Okay, I'll take it. It's not as good as my previous run, but I'll take it. See, that's the worst feeling, too. Like, you know you're capable of so much better. Especially the run before. I don't stream at 60. So it won't work for you. <laughs> I stream at 50 FPS because I'm on PAL. Get the rockets. Oh, so close. Shut up, phone. There's no way that just golded. Must be an old gold. To the right, down the hallway. Mm. 
No stun grenade. This way. We're close to the bunker now. Mayhew could have been faster there. So I'm mashing so I can reload it ASAP. I've added an item to your inventory. A powerful yet stealthy flashbang grenade disguised as an electric shaver. That was lucky. Where you headed to? It was minus 14 out before, I think. Not a sub 11. Actually, I think we're on similar pace. Whatever. Bond M here. Avoid civilian casualties at all cost. Q Branch has supplied you with tranquilizer darts. You come Please from? use them. Hit the alarm! Double O sevens. They deactivate the elevators at night. You'll have them here. Bond, don't forget that your glasses can detect hidden laser tripwires. <laughs> Looks like the target computer. Install the Q-worm into that device and we're in business. That was so close to going out into the square bit there. Exterior elevator to gain access. That bent double O seven. That stairwell bond. It should lead up to the rooftop. I will. Bond, may use computer is in this room. Upload the Q-worm into it. Be careful, old boy. What's happened up there, Jay? The street art friend is swarming with security agents! <laughs> Only one way off this rooftop now, Bond. So I didn't stand up there, so that was better. Damn, this could gold. In fact, this will gold. Double 
Buffalo 7. Your camera should help you here. Any Sub 1440 to that door is insane pace. No! No, no! I was mashing the jump button, dude! Oh, dude, really? That's how? I was fucking mashing the jump button, dude. So dumb. Oh, now you're just not working. That's cool. Just don't work. shouldn't even be that difficult to run that level. I've done it billions of times. Like, why is it so difficult? Why? Security alert. The elevators have been temporarily disabled for your protection. Have a nice day. Honestly, Alpine's easier than Equinox. Oh, no, actually, that's a lie. Equinox is definitely easier. Just depends on the category. I have time for one more. That's the place I lose it. Not even to, like, popping back in bounds, eh? Hey? Because you've only got to shoot two people, some missiles, and then shoot Drake at the end. That's it. Equinox is the easiest level. Period. There is no level in Nightfire that is easier than Equinox. Period. Other than if you're playing on, like, all plats runs, where you got to actually get the tokens, too. But... Other than that, there is no level easier than Equinox, period. You could argue that Alpine, well, you can literally do nothing and you won't die until the gate or the end, sure. But you actually have to shoot. Like, Equinox is the easiest level to run. Of course, I just can't get. I just can't clutch anything out today. No, I just, I just can't. I'm just not allowed to. Even then, like Equinox should still be the easiest level, even casually. Like, as I said, you shoot two people to start it. You shoot some rockets. And then you shoot some people on the level and you shoot Drake to end it. That's the whole level. Alpine, you've actually got to, like, shoot gates, shoot barrels and stuff, um, shoot people who follow you, listen for callouts. Like, 
and there actually is speedrun strats on Alpine. There is no speedrun strats on Equinox, unless you count, like, killing Drake early. But that's not even really that hard to do. You just wait till Allura says laser, then you fire the overcharge looking right at Drake, and he'll die every time. Bond, head for the stairs. Drake's about to address his guests in the Grand Ballroom. It's pretty easy, though. All you gotta do is look at the, like, HUD thing in the corner, and it'll tell you when the rocket's coming. And after you've played it for a while, you know the exact order. So it just isn't that hard at all. Tell you the truth, it's much better to just focus on the missiles anyway, because they don't even do that much damage to you if you avoid the laser, and you can avoid the laser just by staying high. It's not a hard level. It's the easiest level in the game, period. Please stop shooting me. Pretty good. When I get to Equinox, you'll know what I mean. If I get there. The hardest level to run is Chain Reaction. Uh, it's either Chain Reaction or Phoenix Fire, it's one of the two. No, I take it all back, it's Night Shift. Easily. That cafe clip is so annoying. And you've got to do all three types of clipping styles in one level. You've got to do a reverse clip, you've got to do a regular clip, which is really finicky, and then you've got to do um, a frame perfect at the end, and then you've got to do office jump, which I don't even go for yet. It's easily Night Shift is the hardest to run right now. Of course I've tried speedrunning Goldeneye, I literally have times. I literally have Japanese Goldeneye sitting in my N64 next to me. Can't I pick it up? What? Oh, the... The freaking AK that I couldn't pick up. You know, that's actually pretty simple why I couldn't pick it up. It was, um... It was just because I wasn't looking neutral. The game hates, hates picking up stuff when you're looking up or down.
Yeah, it was ages ago. We forgot to make a reservation. That's the interesting thing about speedrunning is people overlook a lot of like dumb moments that are very simple. Very simple in ex explanation. God. I'll tell you what I feel like. I feel like a big breakfast from McDonald's because I'm that hungry and I think I've earned it. Also, that split was bad. It's honestly more like 0.35 or something. Please? Are you kidding me? Ugh. That's the thing I hate the most about this level, is not not even the randomness of it. I hate when you go to reset, but it just doesn't let you. Like, it, it's like, oh, did you want to go look at your stats? Yeah, I totally wanted to look at my objectives. I already know what I'm doing wrong here anyway. We're never getting those two runs back again, ever. Those two runs that just happened. The bike sections were funny. I remember them. I remember you could do the power slide. <laughs> oh, speaking of bikes, um... I don't know if any of you saw when uh, my friend came over the other night. Yeah, he made me play Ride to Hell Retribution. Do any of you know what game that is? Or do any uh, do any of you know about that game? Yeah, he made me play it. <laughs> and he owns a physical copy of the game. Do I have enough time for another run? I don't think I actually do have time for another run. I'm just trying to factor my time in here though, because I gotta hang some washing up. Uh, but that'll only take me like 5-10 minutes. I can probably chill for like another 5 minutes. 5-10 minutes, yeah. My wrists are starting to hurt anyway, so I think I should just stop. I just want to focus on the road when I go out for a drive soon. Drive to work. Um, no, it's this game. Hang on. It was ranked one of the worst games ever made. Hang on. It was this stupid game. Oh wow, that's a long link. Thank you for delete. Okay, it didn't delete it. I'm sorry that that. Okay, don't worry about that link. That <laughs> didn't. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a link that I can copy. Open image in new tab. There we go. It's a long link, but whatever. It'll work. Yeah, um, I definitely will be live tomorrow again. I don't see why I won't be. Um, if I'm not, I'll let you know, but really, I definitely will be live again tomorrow. Oh, I just posted it in restream chat. Fine, I'll put it in my Discord. Uh, I'll plop it in general. Yeah, that game. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, 
dude. Such a shame, hey, because those runs were so good. What did the first run die to? Phoenix Square. Yeah. I gotta let my rest. My wrists rest. Alright, see you later, Zoe. Cheers for dropping by. I can chill for a little, by the way. I hope you all realize that. I'm not going immediately right now. I've got, like, five, ten minutes still of, like, chill time. Because then, um... I'm just factoring in my time here, because I've got to hang some washing out, but that'll only take me, like, ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, not that I know of. Also, I gotta put myself back in the center of my camera. And make sure I'm actually... There we go. May as well put my shoes on. You'll like my fresh Jordans. Cheers, they were on special. Yeah, I'll show you. Look. Japanese golden eye. I own two other N64 games. This one I got recently. I found it at a retro game store. They were selling Japanese Mario Kart, and it's only 20 bucks. So I'm like, sure, I'll get that. Um, and the other one I own, I'll show you, this is a big one though, so, it's Japanese Mario 64, right, but it's actually signed by Simply, yeah, the former world record holder, Simply, oh, and Dowski as well, he was a former zero and one star runner world record holder oh yeah i want to make that clear <laughs> if any of you ever see me in real life yes i'll sign your copy of nightfire you know the best way to meet me Come to, uh, ASM in Australia. <laughs> or if I say I'm going to a GDQ, go to that GDQ or ESA if I ever go to an ESA. I do want to go to an ESA one day. I want to make that clear. I do want to go. Wait, Tosk, are you still here? GDQ is amazing to attend. When I went, it was great. Tosk. I think Tosk bug it off.
Yeah, I definitely recommend attending a GDQ if you ever get the opportunity. So much fun. Any mods? Nah, we can't even crack the game open. When you go to look at the game files on the ISO, right? Um, they have this weird compression format, and we can't get into the game. So, no. And mods for this game will not happen for a long time. You'd honestly have a better chance of just remaking the entire fucking game. Um, the interesting thing is, uh, oh yeah, Bazzy, you saw that Deep Descent Skip was a thing. I want to make sure, does everybody know Deep Descent Skip is actually a thing? Does everybody know that it's actually a thing now? Drake's Island undetected. Look for an entry point and stay Deep descent skip, patrols. yeah. <laughs> so insane. God, Deep Descent is so boring without music. You know, you know I've spent a lot of money, <laughs> or like... You know I've uh, spent the right money when it's come to the point where people are considering whether I'm playing on emulator or not. Because my game looks that nice. Keep them from radioing ahead. Yes, I've had people say that, like, what emulator are you using? And I say, nope, not using an emulator. just so insane that it's just this little crack in the wall. You know, that actually gets me thinking. If we can find things with the same texture, maybe we could find an OOB earlier in the level. so dumb that you can just do that. Righto. Well, I think I'm going to call it here. Let's go find some Bode to host. And this is what I like to call the Nintendo Shit Cube.
<laughs> I just went to my dashboard and I saw that reactor video Nintendo shit cube. <laughs> Nintendo shit cube. <laughs> so I had to, I had to, yeah. And the reason I call it the Nintendo shit cube is because it's a piece of fucking shit. Oh god. Hang on. I have to take a screenshot of that one, <laughs> put it in another Discord. I'm gonna put that one in my Discord, what I just took a photo of. Uh, mop. Go right, mop. <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. I just, you know, hope people that are underage don't see that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, mop underscore eight. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye. I'll probably be live again tomorrow. See you then.